Hello, Pifli students. Welcome again in our math three class. And again, this is Miss Claire. Welcome to Chapter 7, Patterns with Numbers and Shapes. In this chapter, you will learn three topics. We have Lesson 1, Count On and Back. Lesson 2, Make Number Patterns with Term-to-Term -term Rules. And Lesson 3, Make Patterns with Shapes. In this video, you will learn Lesson 1, Counting on and counting back. Are you ready, P3? Come on, let's start. Okay, let's start, P3. Take a look here. I have here some children playing. There are numbers on their tops that is forming a number pattern. Three of the tops or three of the children's number we cannot see, right? So we have here 55, 65, 75, and this one. Then we have 95, 105. Can you see the pattern, children? So what is the pattern for these numbers? So if you know the answer, you can discuss that or you can share that to our class later, okay? Now let's move on to lesson A. This is about counting on and counting back. Okay, look at this picture. Okay, Ron is counting some numbers. What do you notice about the numbers? Take a look here. There are, he is counting, right? So we have 110, 105, 195, and 90. So what number comes next in the pattern after 90? So the numbers are decreasing. So this is what we call counting back. So what is the next number after 90? Yes, that is 85. Then followed by... 80, then 75, and so on. Okay, until we reach zero. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we have here Amy's apples. Look at the apple tree. Amy has 214 apples. She counts on in ones and picks four more. So how to count on? We can use a number line starting from 214. She counts on four more. So from 214, we will add one more. So that is 215, 216, 217, and 218. So Emmy has 218 apples now. So we simply add four to 214. Okay, we have another one here. Emmy gives eight apples to Raj. She counts back in ones from 218. So remember, uh, earlier, Amy has 218 um, apples. She gives eight to Raj. So we will do now counting back. From 218, we count, in by, we count back by one, so 217. So when we say counting back, we will subtract one. So after 217, we have 216. 215, 214, 213, 212, 211, and 210. So she counts back eight less. So Emmy has, yes, 210 apples now. So what do you think is la nine less than 218? So we simply subtract nine from 218. So what is the answer? Share that during our class. Let's continue with Gia's mangoes. Gia has 145 mangoes. He gets three packs of 10 mangoes from Pia. So how are we going to do this? Again, we can use a number line. We will count on in tens. So because we have three packs of 10, so we will count on in 10. So that is three packs of 10 means 30 more. So from 145, we will add 10. It becomes 155, 165, and 175. So Gia now has 175 mangoes. Okay, another problem. So take a look here. What do you notice about the digits when you are counting in tens? Do you observe something, P3? Take a look. So from 145, it becomes 155. Which digit changed? Yes, we have the tens. 
the 40 becomes 50, then it becomes 60, and it becomes 70. The hundreds place and the ones place never change. It does not change, okay? So can you count children from 175 to 235 by tens? Okay, we will do that during our class, okay? Okay, let's continue with another one. Gia sells five bags of 10 mangoes. It means 50 mangoes. So he counts back in tens. How many mangoes does he have left now? So from 175, he will count back by 10 five times. So one, so 10 less. It becomes 165. Next, 155, 145, 135, and 125. So he counts back 50 less. So Gia has 125 mangoes left. Now, so this is how to count back in 10. Another one. Let's have Raj strawberries. Raj has 217 strawberries. He gets 5 baskets of five of 100 strawberries. So when we say 5 baskets of 100 means 500. So, again, we can use a number line. And we will count on by... So we will add 100 to 217, that is 317, another 100, 417, another 100, 517, and another 100, 617, and another 100, 717. So Raj now has 717 strawberries. So what have you noticed, P3, which digit change? Okay, let's continue. Okay, Raj gives away four baskets of, of 100 strawberries, means he gives away 400 strawberries. So he will count, count back in hundreds. So from 717, he will subtract 100, that is 617, another 100, 517, and another 100, 417, and another 100. So this is 317. In total, he counts back 400 less. So from 717, it becomes 317 strawberries. So he has now 317 strawberries left. So what have you noticed, P3, when we count on and count back in hundreds? Which place value change? Okay, you can share your answers during our class. Okay, P3, that's all about lesson one, counting on and back. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. I hope that you learned a lot in this video. Thank you for watching and always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy your day.